Hi guys. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna be on Zoom tomorrow for art class, but I'm going to send you this template. You guys can print it out. You can do this on your own time, whatever time you want to. You can do it during the art class time. Um, but you get to make your own puzzle. And so you guys can do your puzzle and you can see if somebody in your family or a friend or somebody, see if they can do it. Um, so it's really simple. You're just gonna draw your picture, you're gonna color your picture, and then you're going to cut it out, and you can hand the um, pieces to somebody else to see if they can do it. So on mine, since it's springtime, I think I'll just do a big sunflower. You guys can do it as simple as you want. This one has, I don't know how many pieces this one has. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this should have 48 pieces, right? Six times eight is 48. So I'm, you guys can do it however you want. I'm starting with a pencil because you guys probably know I like to be able to erase in case I make a mistake. So you guys can probably barely see mine, but I'll show you. Can you see? You'll see it better when I color it. So I'm just gonna do that with a stem and big, huge petals. If you guys already totally get what you're doing, you don't have to watch me anymore, or you can keep watching. I'm just going to work on mine. You can work on yours while you're watching. Or you can just watch mine. So you might wanna do I'm not going to do it right now because it'll take too much time for you to watch. But you might want to do a background too. And when I say background, even just a background color. Because it's going to be harder if you have a bunch of white pieces that go together. And it will just look more like a real puzzle because real puzzles usually have a background. So, is that the inside of a sunflower? But if you guys can remember to take a picture of it before you cut it up or after you cut it up and somebody else does it so that I can see the picture, I would love to see what you guys create. You guys can send me, you guys can email me a picture of what you did. And hopefully you can find somebody who can do it, who can actually put it back together. So one thing you guys might want to pay attention to is um, while you're doing this, you don't probably want to use too much black or do anything. So I used pencil, but you can still see the outline of the, um, the puzzle pieces. But if I were to use black, it might not, you might not be able to see where the actual outline of the puzzle pieces is. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, so you don't want, or if I use Sharpie and I did an outline in Sharpie, it might confuse me which piece is the puzzle and what part is the actual drawing. So I would suggest just using pencil and then using only colors and not using black. You can try it. It's up to you guys. You guys do whatever you want, um, but it might make your brain confused when you try to cut it out as a puzzle and then you accidentally cut out a line that's really part of the design but you guys can figure that out for yourselves. And obviously, since I'm sending this to you, I'm sending you the template, the puzzle piece template, you can print out another one if you want to. And yeah, 
I might send you guys another option of bigger pieces if I can find one. Um, if this seems like too many pieces to you, you can choose another one if I can find one to send. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but here's mine to start with. Then I will cut out all those pieces. You cut off the edges because you don't need the edges and hand the pieces to somebody else and see if they can do it. Have fun, you guys.